What had happened was Hello, I am super excited to be coming at you. This will be live, obviously, when it's recording, which is right now. If you are coming with me when it's not live, I really want you to still leave a comment and still interact because I'm super excited about this. And also, it'll help me for future content. So what had happened was this morning I was on a call. Um, I love to talk on the phone when I drive just through Bluetooth uh, so that I don't know. It's just kind of my time to call people. So anyway, I was on a call and it came up something that I hear all the time. So for all my woke people, <laughs> when you start to speak to yourself in a different way, and then you listen to how others speak, you start to realize certain phrases and certain words and certain limiting beliefs and certain constraints that they're putting on themselves. And especially right now during this whole shindig that we have going on in life, it people have been I have noticed really focusing in on that restraint section, that boundary that they're putting on themselves. And so I just wanted to do a quick little lesson um, because I I am a coach. I don't know if you know this, I'm a coach and a mentor. So if you want to kind of schedule time to do this personally with me so that we can really dive in um, on your linguistic programming, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, then you let me know. But anyway, into the content. So what happened was I heard this is hard, right? Um, speaking specifically to how life is now that they're not going to work all the time. So it's hard to not have that schedule in place. It's hard to not um, know what you're necessarily going to do when you wake up in the morning. It's hard to not have that life kind of pre-planned doesn't do you agree here's a chance so leave it leave a comment leave leave me a little emoji do you also feel like there are things in your life that are hard especially related to what's going on and how life is right now cool <laughs> giving you a chance to do that so having hard right i want you to say to yourself this is hard and I want you to feel how that feels. Drop some, drop some adjectives for me because I can't see all of them right now. I'm going to give you a little bit, but, but drop them so that I can use them and, and learn for the next time of what you guys are feeling and see if I'm on the right track. And if I'm on the right track, just let me know that too. So this is hard especially in reference to not being at work, especially in reference to not being able to be, see your friends and go to school and get, go, go gelato whenever you want. This is hard. I feel kind of a tightness. I feel kind of a heaviness. I feel my energy drops. I don't feel good for sure. And so I want to bring up and maybe help you realize that you just brought that on right? Those feelings that you just associated with, this is hard. You just brought, <laughs> gotta fall over. You just brought into your space. So I want to kind of help you recognize how much control you have over how you're feeling and over what you are allowing into your space. So you're just over in whatever day it is for you and are watching me go live. Oh, this is Samantha Bell. This is cool. And then all of a sudden I want you to get into that space where it's hard and you're going, Oh, now I feel however you're feeling. And I want to show you that you've brought that on yourself. So what's to say that we can't bring something else. So this is hard. What I want to do is hard is the word that we're going to switch out. So this guys, it is this simple. You just switch your words out and it will literally reprogram your brain through linguistics, through words to think differently, to perceive differently, to take energy and inject it, <laughs> absorb it differently. So instead of saying this is hard, I now want you to say this is different. Let me know. How does that, does that feel? Does that feel different? Does that elicit another response besides this is hard? This is different. So for me, and the reason that different is a, is a good one to use is because different is a neutral word, 
right hard skews in kind of a lower frequency, it skews in a heavier place, different is just kind of different. It's just a word, right? When, when someone, you ask someone, how do I look? Or um, do you like the pasta? And they say, oh, it's different. <laughs> you go different good or different bad? Because different doesn't have a direction associated with it already. Obviously through tone and inflection, you can see if they're just trying to be nice. But still the question follows different good or different bad. So I want you to think about how it feels to not be at work right now. I want you to think about how it feels to not be able to get gelato with your friends. I want you to think about how many books you have read or haven't read during this time. And I want you to say, this has been different. And I want you to feel that change. Let me know in the comments and any, any words that come up with when you use different. So for me, when I use different, it is kind of, it releases that tightness and I just kind of am. I'm just kind of existing as it's a statement. This is different. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now what? <laughs> right. I, different for me starts opening up possibilities. There's not a restraint. Well, I don't know about open possibilities, but there's not the restraint there. So it opens that door that I just locked. So this is different. I want you to also try this is interesting, right? Uh, learning how to navigate my life right now is interesting. Learning how to do things in a different way is interesting. Because interesting is another neutral word. Interesting promotes interest and it promotes a feeling of curiosity. Curiosity is a neutral feeling, right? And so just changing. Remember we were at, this is hard. Feel how it feels different now. Okay. And so for my problem solvers, do I have any problem solvers? Anybody that's like, I love problems <laughs> because whether they're with other people, whether they're tactile, any, I, I'm a problem solver. Do we have any of those? Leave a comment. Let me know if you're a problem solver. So if you're a problem solver, try this one. This is a challenge. Bring it on. Okay? Okay? This is a challenge. Bring it on. You got to add the end part and you the head sway really helps. Okay. So, when how does how does that make you feel? Right? If you're a competitive person, if you like challenge if you even if you don't love challenge but you are competitive and you don't like losing and you really like winning, this is a challenge bring it on. You just are now reliving or are we having, having to figure out how to live now that things are different. This is a challenge. Bring it on. Okay. What is that? What does that feel like? Leave me some words. What does that feel like? For me, I am one of those competitive people. For me, it feels like, uh, still a challenge. But, and so still I'm feeling not a tightness, but I'm feeling the challenge, the competition, the, this is a challenge, bring it on. I've got this. I, yeah. Empowering. I, yes, I agree. Right. I feel like as opposed to this is hard, right? Which I, I agree is the opposite of empowering, right? This is hard. Well, it, it well, it's hard. What are you going to do? There's an excuse right there. Uh, well, I can't do that. It's hard. It's not hard to sit on the couch. It's not hard to read a book. It's not hard to do nothing and beat the next 19 levels in Dungeons and Dragons. I don't even know how to play that, but if there are levels and you can beat them, it's not hard to do, right? It's different. It's interesting that we now have to come up with these new ways of being. It's a challenge, bring it on. So. I just want to, I just want to, I want to have you take this journey through feelings, how these different phrases are feeling, even if they don't sit with you and you're not identifying with, oh yeah, the challenge one, that one's me. Even if you're not saying that, I want you to feel how your energy has shifted by changing one word. We can do this. This is how we can start to live life. Imagine what life would be if you knew the most common trigger words like that that you could switch out in your daily conversations with yourself. 
so that you start bringing about the energy and you start being able to motivate yourself from areas that already connect with you. How would that feel? How would that feel to be able to know the vocabulary words that take you from on the defense to not on the offense attacking, but super relaxing and super great and super in charge of how you're feeling and how you're choosing to react. So, um, I just wanted to, I just, it, it really spawned, uh, an inspirational moment for me this morning when I was, I was talking to who I was talking to this morning <laughs> and, and they said, yeah, different. This is different. I can do different, right? How many times in your life has something switched up on you? How many times in your life has something not gone as planned? It went different. It was different. It was done differently. And did you rise? Did you figure it out? Did you go, okay, I was planning to go on a run this morning. And now I have a different task that has come up last minute. So now I'm doing that. It's different than I was what I was going to do. Okay, I'm doing it because I'm great and I can go with the flow and different doesn't scare me. Okay, so um, I just wanted to bring that up. Let me know if you if you like this, if you got any value out of this. And if you're wanting to kind of do this one-on-one, if you're wanting to see what your words are, what your thoughts are, that you might be bringing that negative heavy energy in on yourself, leave me a little fire emoji and um, I will contact you with kind of the link to, to work together and we'll go from there. Uh, it is a paid thing. <laughs> Just putting that out there. This is a free video. Uh, to work with me is not free to get really personalized in on your language and your expectations and the limitations that you've been putting on yourself. I hope that this has shown you that there might be limitations you didn't even realize because saying this is hard, like I was saying before, gives you an excuse. It cuts it off. Oh, well, I haven't um, really learned another skill or done anything that I consider productive during this time because it's hard. I'm going through a hard time. Okay. Instead, I haven't done things because I'm unmotivated (laughs) and other reasons that it's because how about it being different, right? This is a different time. Will I work with children? I will. Yes. So, uh, ages six and up, they need to be able to have a conscious understanding of their words, um, and not just have a vocabulary of more, (laughs) but yes, absolutely. Um, and, and so great question. Six and up, I mean, really, you are not too old to have your neuro reprogrammed with linguistics. So NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, I have coached people through all kinds of things right now to date. I also am in training to become a certified NLP practitioner. So I will be, we will be working with that as, as we go through our sessions. So, um, I've worked with her before. Okay, awesome. Yeah, perfect. Especially you guys, especially if I know you, if we're if we're friends, if I've worked with you before, if you've done any of my workshops, if we're if we've worked in person before, um, especially if you're a creative, um, all all of it. Okay, if you are interested in just kind of learning what that looks like, just leave that fire emoji and I'll I'll send you the details. I don't want to I don't want to flood this chat with it because if you're not interested, then then that's fine. And take it and let's and let's rock with it. Um, Neurolinguistic programming, EFT, which is like tapping, hypnotherapy, timeline. I'm, I'm getting certified um, as a practitioner, which is just going to amplify what I already know. I do have a degree actually in music therapy. So um, <laughs> my girlfriend likes to say I'm half a doctor, which is ridiculous. Uh, but I do know what I'm talking about. And if you found value in this hard one word switch, I really encourage you to drop that fire emoji. Let me know and I will get in contact with you about how to move forward. And otherwise, happy Tuesday or whatever day. When, it's not even Tuesday for me. Why did I say that? Whatever day it is for you is perfect. And it's not even Tuesday for me. So Tuesday must be a special day for somebody. Um, <laughs> uh, love you guys. Thank you so much. And then just also a question. Is is this a good... I just went live because it really... I, I really, it spoke to me while I was on my drive. And then as soon as they parked, I was like, I've got it. I've got to share this with people. Like that one word, especially nowadays, that one word could just just change things. So um, do you prefer, if you're going to watch a live, do you prefer morning, afternoon, evening? Like if you have a time preference of when you would like for people to go live, if you would like to watch them on a schedule, let me know what that is below, just so that I can potentially get on that schedule and be someone that you 
come in contact with. We'll be doing more of these, these one word things. So if you have a word that you would like for me to tackle next time or an idea or something like that, leave that in there. Otherwise, I'll just pull from sessions. I mean, I, I always pull from real things. I pull from real people. I pull from real experiences. I pull from people that are talking to me and getting results, guys. So perfect. Leave a fire emoji. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Keep commenting. Let me know. Let me know.